Hey, my name's Andrew, and this is the best winter gear for running, hiking, and whatever weather blows your way. Because your core keeps the rest of your body warm, the best place to start with winter gear is with a good base layer. Most days, my go-to is the Tracksmith Harrier because it's light and 89% merino wool, which makes it extremely warm and breathable. Below 25 degrees, I switched to the Tracksmith No Days Off hoodie, which is mid-weight with a high neckline and a tailored fit. Over those, I wear a Patagonia Houdini because it's water wind resistant and feather light so I can easily take it off mid-run. Generally, I just use an umbrella for freezing rain, but if you're hardcore and you need something for training, then the Patagonia Torrent Shell is a great option. Because your legs are generating most of the heat while you're hiking or running, all you really need for winter is one good pair of tights. My favorites are the Segoy Sub-Zero Zap tights because they're snug and stretchy with a thermal fleece lining and tons of reflectors for visibility. And when it's really freezing, I'll layer a pair of Columbia Royce pants over my tights to cut the wind. Growing up, I associated winter with big clunky boots, but when I switched to barefoot shoes, my feet actually stayed warm and now they're all I use. For winter road running, my favorite is the Wildling Flying Fox because it's 3.5 millimeters thick and super flexible, but also water resistant with an ankle cut. For trails, I use the Vivo Barefoot Primus Firm Ground, which is 6.5 millimeters thick, but still flexible with a semi-aggressive tread for slippery conditions. When the snow gets deep or slushy, my go-to's are the Hinza Jaya's because they're waterproof, high cut, and at four millimeters even work for running. Personally, I don't like traction devices because they just feel clunky, but if you need them for icy hills, then I'd recommend a pair of micro spikes on some old cushioned shoes. Once you've got your tops and bottoms sorted, the next step is to make sure none of that heat is escaping out your head, hands, or toes. For me, that starts with the Smart Wool Beanie, which is 87% merino wool and keeps my head toasty without getting overheated. I also use Smart Wool Liner Gloves, which are 87% merino, and when it's super cold, a pair of loose-fitting possum merino gloves over top. Below 10, I wear a thin merino wool neck gaiter from Buff, which I can pull over my face without getting soggy like synthetic. Moving downward, I use a pair of Smart Wool's Merino Windproof Underwear, which is a lifesaver, especially when I'm running through gusting snow. And for socks, I use Njinji's Merino Midweights with a liner over top, which spreads out my toes and creates better airflow than regular socks. Finally, to add some extra warmth inside my barefoot shoes, I use a Hinz's Vegan Liner for cold weather, Vivo Barefoot's Thermal for wet conditions, and Buffalo Wool Company's 4mm insole for 20 or below. Back in 2017, I got a job as a shoe salesman at a run specialty shop. And for the next few years, I tested hundreds of different winter gear products. But in the beginning, it was really overwhelming and I wasted a lot of time and money getting fooled by clever marketing. So now I shop with three rules that make things a lot simpler and I hope they help you too. One, buying an expensive product once saves you more money than paying for a cheap product 10 times. Two. Trusting age-old materials like wool and hemp keeps you warmer than synthetic marketing hype. Three, wearing thin layers you can take off is way more convenient than relying on one thick layer you can't. So those are my favorite tips for winter gear, but if you wanna check out any of the products we covered, I've put links down below. And if you have a question, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, catch you next time. Peace.